I'm also going to probe around on the, this radio here, trying to determine why there's no transmit. Um, apparently, so it's, it's shorted out on the final. I've done a bit of voltage probing, the voltages appear to be there. Um, so now it's going to probe around with a scope and see what I find there. Um, I'm suspecting that uh, one of the drivers, either the driver or the pre-driver, has failed as a result of the final being shorted out. It's most likely this has been worked on. Um, so I was going to probe around here. There's no microphone, so I'm just having to short the terminals out, which is not ideal, but yeah, there we go. So that's on transmit now. Now this is the pre-driver input. Oh, keep it transmitting. It's about 38 millivolts peak to peak. Mind you, I'm using a uh, times 10 probe. What's that? 380 millivolts in. 380 millivolts in. Um, there's the output. So measuring is 480 millivolts. So it'd be more than that. Um, and that's, that's the pre-driver, and that feeds into a driver. I hope you can see it okay on the scope, but it's not great. Um, there's the driver input. Uh, 370, so yeah, slightly lower, but you kind of expect that. Output of the driver. Ah. 190. Driver is an amplifying. So, again, this is a radio I don't have a diagram for, so it makes it harder. So, we shall see what the voltages say again. I don't know if you can see that there. Let's just turn this on. There you go. Um, so, let's see what voltages I find here. So, on the collector of the driver, 7. 18 volts, that's kind of strange, especially seeing as I'm only feeding in 13.8, that's interesting, must be some kind of oscillation in the circuitry there. Um, if I do a collect of the final, same voltage, so there's a voltage there, but the voltage is interesting, um, yes, very interesting. I'm not sure why it looks like that. Um, yes, that's potentially linked to the problem. And I can't trust those voltage readings at all. Um, there must be some kind of interference in that section or something. So it's just not worry about that for now. But it looks like the uh, driver is an amplifying, so I might just try replacing the driver. Let's just get the camera in here. Oh, try to knock it all over. Uh, so here's what I'm working on here. So there is the pre-driver just there, which I was probing. That's the input. The output's on that side of the coil. It loops around the back of the transistor. That leg there's the input. There's the collector. So that's base collector there. There's a two, three, one, four. And then it goes through little traces here, which you can see it's been patched up by someone. Loops around to the there. Um, there is continuity between the two. I've already checked for that. Voltage is odd. That's what I'm puzzled by at the moment. I would expect to normally see a um, stable DC voltage there. It's being a bit interesting. So that could be related to the fault. Um, I might just try measuring with a scope actually and just see what comes out of that. Okay, I've taken a transistor out and I'll just put it on this little cheap Chinese tester I've got here. And this is what it's given me. It says it's NBN, ECB pinout as expected. 191, 590. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll see what that compares with a uh, brand new part and see what comes out of that. Okay, so that's a brand new one looks very similar so very interesting right, so I thought I'd get my uh, peak meter out instead let's see what this thinks of it ok 
can't gain HFE 192, which is pretty much the same, and 2.5 milliamps test current basement voltage at 0.74. Leakage none. Um, okay, well, that's on the brand new part. Hold on a second. Let's hook up the one I just pulled out and we'll see how that compares. Excuse the poor camera work, I haven't put it on the stand moment. Okay. Yeah. Let's retest it. Same gain, to the same test current, same voltage, same current there. That looks fine. So that's interesting. Okay, I've been working on this some more and it looks like there's actually some missing components. So just in here, power's currently off. Um, there's some resistor points if I can just mark it here, just there. There's two resistor points, I believe, side by side. Those was there's nothing in those two points. So I've actually put some resistors in here. Um, I've actually got two stacked one on top of the other. It's a 210 ohm, and I've put one on top of the other. So it's actually uh, about 100 ohms, and that actually got it transmitting, um, but not properly. It's only just starting to show a little bit of a signal, about a quarter of a watt or something. So then I came down here to those points there. There's, there was two empty pads there as well, and it looked like it had probably been heated up. So I've put some 210 ohm across there as well, two of them side by side, and those two pads. There's one pad left there beneath them, but I'm not quite sure what goes in there. I tried putting a resistor in there, but I didn't like it. So um, it looks like there's some parts missing, which is why it wouldn't transmit. So it's actually transmitting now. I've just got it um, bridged across on here, very roughly, a bit ugly, but does a job, so you can the key mic up. And it's now transmitting. So in fact, it's only doing two, about two watts, two and a half watts, which is very low. Um, I'm not sure why it's that low. The voltage is check out, but um, yeah, it's and changing those resistor values hasn't changed that output power either. I've adjusted this slug here; it works best right there, strangely. But yeah, this is um, also getting hot fairly quickly. Um, they're not as bad as it was, actually. But yeah, it's um, it was getting worse than that. It's doing better now. So yes, it's not oh, interesting. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to find any like high res photos or anything on this board or circuit diagrams or anything. Um, I mean, there's a trace repair there to do, which is pretty ugly. And I, I need to clean all this up yet. But first thing is trying to get it to work. So this is a that's a preamplifier there that's working. That's amplifying by about ten times. There's a preamplifier there which is also amplifying by about ten times. So you go through that inductor, well by that inductor, then those parts which then go to the driver, which is amplifying properly now, and then the final. But um, yeah, it's not doing too bad now. Actually, it's not getting as hot as it was. It's getting there. So yeah. I made some progress on that. Also found that um, just down there there's a pair of surface mount parts in series with the coil and that adjustable coil. And then one of them was sideways, it's like it's shortening out. That probably wouldn't have been helping it. So I've corrected that, but um, yeah, I'm not happy with it. It's why I'm getting radios that other people play with already. Um, because they've made it, they messed up all these traces, all these all messed up. That's all messed up. Um, now the traces are gone, they're just completely gone. So, um, yeah, not good. And they've moved the diode from the other side and put it on this side. Um, I'm guessing it blew when that 
final was shorted out because apparently the middle pin was shorted out which happens to be the collector which has the 13 volts going to it so um, yeah it's getting there but it's not it's not what it should be it should be more power than that so might have to uh, look at this some more well, I was going to try and do some testing on this and show you where it's coming out it's a bit awkward trying to get both in there so this is currently transmitting so this is the first pre-driver very low signal there about 1.6 volts are showing here triggering is not right but gives you an idea there's the output there Okay, also triggering not right, but that's working. Come over to here. That's the next pre-driver. That's the output from the first one, that's the second one. That's the output of this one, which is looking more like it should do. Now this is into the input of the driver. Messy, but it's there. 4.2 volts, peak to peak. Well, maybe peak to peak because it's amplitude. Hmm. Well, yeah, I might have to reset my digital readings on there. Um, so 4.1 volts there. That's the output there. Showing us 15 volts or so. Probably clipping slightly. Um, so that's the output there. Probably clipping slightly. Input to the final. Showing us 6.6 .6 volts. And the output, which comes over here actually. So I'll tap into that. Power, where is that output? Let's flip it over the other way. Just easily gets in that way. Output. Just take it there. So that's the output, which is much bigger. There we go. 43 volts so and it's only generating about 2 watts um, so yes it's interesting I was expecting to see more than that so I'm not sure if there's um, still an issue there somewhere but at least it is actually amplifying now whereas before that wasn't happening even though the uh, Voltages and stuff were looking better, so I've done a bit of a clean up on the board now. The, um, it looks slightly better. It's, it's not great, but and we're in there. Get off. Spray some con some ball cleaner on that. But uh, there you go. Try and get some light on it, right? But yeah, I mean, I promise I can't. Like, can't actually, you know, for sure what those components are supposed to be. Resistors seem to work, but um, no diagram, no high resolution pictures from anywhere else saying what those parts actually should be. So I had to take a guess and try some things out. I mean, it looked like the parts were missing, so it looked like they've been soldered or desoldered with lots of flux in the area. So I thought, well, it's worth trying, trying sticking something in there in case this is not um, working correctly. And uh, yeah, sure enough, it seems to have at least got the thing transmitting. But um, yeah, I mean, that's been on now since what? It's about, about three minutes. I've had that power on with the transmitting constantly, and that's not that hot. So that seems okay now, at least that's um, that's working right there. But it's just not generating the right amount of power. I've already checked voltage drop across that diode, which you got shoved on the back there. Um, this one here, which has been tacked on the back instead of its original location just inside there. But um, yeah, that seemed okay. It is generating power. I've actually bridged across it because sometimes you can actually bridge across diodes on power supplies like that and generate more power. It only went up about half a watt, so it's not that. Um, yeah, still alright. We'll get there.